The Backyard, the backyard. The back, the back, the back, the back, the backyard wood shop. Hi, I'm Tom Ryder with the Backyard Wood Shop, but today we're in my kitchen so I can show you uh, a solution I came up with um, to my bread. It's kind of sometimes gets flattened in the pantry and uh, I get some inconsistent uh, slices, you know, that kind of get smushed down and things. So I came up with a solution and I call it the bread protector. So the bread protector is nothing more than some pallet wood that I milled down to three-eighths of an inch thick, joined them with some rabbits, and uh, these, this is just happened to be maple, and uh, put some finish on it, and it's basically just a hollowed box that fits a loaf of bread really nice. So the dimension is real easy, by the way. The inside dimension turns out to be uh, four and a quarter, by four and a half inside. All the pieces are ripped to five inches wide. So, and then you're just going to do some rabbits, about half the thickness of the um, stock, and then you're all set. But if you can see that as it protects my bread, I can stack a box on top of a box, or I can have them side by side. So, you can put them on a counter, or you can put them in your pantry like I have. So, if you want to know how to make this, stick around and I'll show you how. So now I'm just going to cut all these pieces to the 12 inch length. We're just going to rip all of our pieces down to 5 inches wide. So real quick, I'm just going to use the anchor table and a straight cutter to uh, make a rabbit here. Um, basically, it's just three-eighths of an inch wide and about a quarter of an inch deep, roughly. Uh, because of the anchor's repeatability, I don't have to uh, try and take off this whole uh, three-eighths of an inch of material at once. I can sneak up on it. I can I can make four passes, five passes, whatever I want. But I'm just going to do it in two. So I got it set at three sixteenths. I'm going to go ahead and make a pass, spin the material, make a pass, and then uh, once I do that for all of the tops and bottoms that I want, then I'll reset the fence. But let's say I forgot a, a, a one of them. No big deal. Because of the anchor, I can just go back and forth and know that I'm exactly where I need to be. I made that first pass, and now I've moved the fence back to 3 8 and I'm just going to go ahead and complete the rabbit, and we'll be all set. You've got everything sanded which I did off camera all we need to do is start uh, joining this up and I'm going to use my mini clampets because they just are great shop help and uh, we're just going to put our pieces together here into the rabbit joints and I just want to make sure we got everything joined up square and correct so once those are aligned, there we go. Both corners joined up, and now we can put our two pieces together, and I've got a little extra spacer block here to hold that end up while I, uh, there we go, while I put it on. And then that will let me take these and join them together just like so. I did my practice glue up. Now I've got my um, all my pieces glued all the way around. I did it in two phases, and uh, now it's all waiting to uh, finish curing. So we'll let that set for a while. Next, we're just going to round over all my corners. That way, it is a little more comfortable for me. And I'm just going to take them through the router table like this. Just pass each corner. I'm just going to 
just going to use some uh, clear polyurethane and the high gloss finish and just just give it a quick coat. So I'm going to finish putting that on. Three, two, one. Well, that's going to wrap it up for this one. I'm back in the kitchen just to show you the, bre the bread protectors again. I'm really happy with these things. Uh, it turned out really well. I like them in this configuration because that way it still provides a spot for, for storing extra bread and stuff. So I'm probably going to leave it in this orientation for now. Uh, thanks for watching. If you uh, enjoyed the video, I'd love for you to hit that like button. And until the next time, I see you in the backyard.